am here to talk to you guys today about the five things that I wish I knew before moving to Ardmore, Oklahoma. Coming up. Hey everybody, Stacey Hesser here, your favorite realtor in all of Southern Oklahoma. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the five things that I wish I knew before I actually moved here. <laughs> told you guys I gotta keep it real for you so let's just get right into it. The so. first thing that was a little bit of a surprise to me was that Oklahoma is home to clay not dirt. Clay. Clay creates a bit of problems for foundations here and some roads and some other things because it's not really dirt and it has issues with drainage and all kinds of good stuff. So if you're house hunting Make sure that you're looking at some things that might be indicators for foundation problems. There's an entire industry for foundation repair. So rest assured that if you do find your dream home and it needs some work, there is there is a slew of people out there that are qualified to fix it for you. So number two was finding a lakefront home here. The odds are slim to none. <laughs> Um, even though Oklahoma has a ton of lakes here in the Ardmore area, there's actually four different lakes that you can go drop a boat in. It's actually really hard to find true lakefront property uh, or homes that exist here because most of the lakes have been built by the civil engineers. So a lot of the land that's around the lake is all owned by the civil engineers and there's not an opportunity to actually purchase land on a lake. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. So if you see people that are advertising lake houses, know that you're going to be getting in a vehicle or something and going to the lake. You're not going to be able to have a dock that you'll be able to just launch your boat at. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm so hesitant to talk about this, but in Ardmore, your grocery situation is uh, Walmart. Walmart for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> How do I combat this? I go to Texas. Yeah. There are some other grocery stores here. We have Aldi, Homeland, and also Save a Lot. So it's not like Walmart's the only place, but yeah. Anyway, so like I said, I just get in my little car and I drive on down to Texas and I hit up the old HEB down there. It's an amazing grocery store, FYI. And, you know, there's also things like Total Wine that has... Things like Sample Saturday. <laughs> the next one winds. So Oklahoma has a lot of wind. It's not to say that it's it's windy all the time, but it's definitely pretty constant. And a, just a typical day, you're looking at a three, five mile an hour wind. So in some cases in the summertime, it's a nice little breeze to help cool you off. Um, but it, it, yeah, they're just, they're constant. I, I always get worried if the windmills aren't turning because I feel like the apocalypse is coming or something. I don't know. It's just, it's eerie when the windmills don't spin. So there you go. Wind. Last but not least, Ardmore is home to a little truck driving school. So if you're driving around Ardmore, you might see one of their little red trucks for the, uh, truck driving school. And if you do just just know that you really need to give them some extra space for those turns and things like that. And they, they, they might be running a red light. I don't know. They're pretty slow getting through the intersections and it's green when they start. And sometimes it just takes them the whole light change <laughs> to get all the way through. But they're learning and I'm all about that. I'm all about that. But that's it. That's my list. Those are the top five things that I wish that I knew before moving to Ardmore, Oklahoma, and what it's like living here in Oklahoma. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you want to see my smiling little face every single week, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great one, you guys. Bye.